At a dealer-only event, Ford announced new details on the Ford Bronco, the Mini Small Bronco, and the unibody pickup. I'm going to have those details for you coming up right now. Hello, it's Tim Estrell, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my passion is trucks and SUVs. I was uh, drinking my morning coffee here in this uh, cool kind of morning here in Nebraska and about spit it out when I read a story that said that Ford was announcing some, not details, but kind of sharing some details with the dealers at a dealer-only meeting. And they're talking about the new Ford Bronco, the mini Bronco, the small Bronco, whatever you want to word for that, and they're talking about the unibody pickup. So let's get right into this news story. So what we know is that the dealers were shown a prototype. They're shown a two-door and they're show, told an optional four-door was coming. And the announcement from Ford's Jay Hendricks at this event was that it was going to be in t- late 2020 when the Ford Bronco was going to be unveiled. Secret of Bronco that they haven't uh, <clears throat> told us much about since they unveiled the logo at the Detroit Auto Show in 2017. Is It's going to have a few details a little bit different than the Chief then it's then the Jeep Wrangler. It's going to be its chief rival. That's what they're going for. Number one, the doors are still going to come off stuff like that, but the mirrors are going to be attached to the front pillars, and so they're not going to be able to come off like they are in a Jeep Wrangler. You're going to keep the side mirrors. It's going to be designed to be customable with removable hardtop, removable doors that can be stored in the stored in the vehicle's cargo area. It's going to be kind of a. They keep talking about a family of rugged off-road vehicles. I'm not really sure about this terminology quite yet, but that's the the words they're using. You're going to have the Baby Bronco. There's also going to be upcoming Mustang-inspired electric crossover. This has got a 300-mile range. I've seen some really crazy photos of this. It basically looks like a Mustang lifted with some uh, big tires on it, which is kind of, I don't know. To me, it doesn't really work as an EV because it's, it's counterintuitive. EVs, you need low-resistance tires, less aer- better aerodynamics. It's, it's not supposed to have any of that kind of stuff. So I anticipate a very... Um, low to the ground electric crossover with low rolling resistance tires. According to the sources that were there, it's going to be a total off-road lineup. They're going to have a two-door and four-door Bronco. You're going to have the baby Bronco and the unibody pickup. I've done videos on the Bronco and the unibody, and I'll put those above. Now, this is going to be interesting to talk about a unibody pickup because the images we saw don't really talk about it being off-road. It doesn't really show an off-road kind of look to it. It's more like a, a unibody dealer look kind of, or not dealer, but a fleet model. Um, it's That was my take on it. So it's interesting to hear them talk about being in an off-road version of this as well, and part of an off-road lineup. Dealers were told the Bronco would be available in late 2020, as soon as three months after the baby Bronco. That means they're going to come out with the baby Bronco first, and then the, I guess the bigger Bronco later, I guess two words we're going to use, a uh, baby and like Papa Bronco. It's going to come a couple months later. Which is interesting, you would think that with the Jeep Wrangler and the Jeep Gladiator on the market right now, that Ford would want to accelerate plans, get these trucks out at faster than what they're doing currently. Uh, a couple dealers were quoted in the Auto News story saying, one dealer, one dealer said it was twice as cool as I thought it would be, and another dealer said it's going to be a game changer. But those are dealers. Dealers get excited about all this kind of stuff, especially things that you know they haven't seen as far as new vehicles. They get always excited about new vehicles. Ford plans to, bring, to build the Bronco at the Michigan Assembly Plant alongside the Ranger's mid-sized pickup that went on sale in January. Uh, there really has only been the teaser images. There's been some images of uh, some renderings that I'll put on the screen that I, you know, you can show you what the what people think it's going to look, look like. It's probably going to be more of a smaller version unibody or smaller version body on frame SUV than the older style. That's everybody's guess at this moment. So there you go. That's what we know about the uh, new Ford Bronco, and we know it's going to be a baby Bronco and a Ford Bronco, and we know it's going to be unibody pickup. Unibody pickup was also talked about being coming out in 2021. And so if you look at your time frame, right, so you have the baby Bronco first, then you have the big Bronco, then you have unibody. If if the big Bronco is going to be out late 2020, that puts it like later in the year, like November, December, October, somewhere in that range. That means baby Bronco will be in the summertime, summer or early fall. Uh, 2020. Now, with the auto shows changing up timing, it could be that it won't be at Detroit next year because Detroit's moving to a summer time frame. Ford may do more off-site stuff, so we may see this in the spring of next year. We may see a, finally a prototype be unveiled, and that would make sense because you do baby Bronco prototype. A couple months later, you do te- media drives, 
and then you do the uh, go to dealership. So for more Pickup Truck Plus SUV news, make sure you check us out at PickupTruckTalk.com. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Type in Pickup Truck Talk. We're there. Trust me. Just type it in. We're there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe to get more notifications of more videos I do. And hit the bell notification to be notified of more videos I do. A little bit different how they work. But hey, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.